Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with Let's Play Fallout 3, Episode 20, Part 18. In this one, we're going to the Rotunda. You. You again. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell-bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. Uh -huh. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy killing you. You're in over your head, I'm afraid. Do you really think but so? But this is the path you choose for yourself. Tell your father I said hello. This is for everything. God, the first one didn't kill him. Just stand there and die. <laughs> and now we get our last unique weapon, Colonel Autumn's laser pistol. And, um, sure, we'll take his uniform, too. In fact, I'm gonna dress up- Ah! You're just a sick of books now. I'm gonna dress up as him. Well, that takes care of that. Yep. By now, the Pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Mm-hmm. Let's get this room secured. Hello. I think the room is secure. Anybody hiding back here? No, nope. okay. Just wanted to make sure. Be released now, or else the third facility could explode. Oh, great. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. Now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. Oh crap. Crap. I'm sorry. Son of a bitch. There was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now. Or, or the, the damage will be, will be catastrophic. catastrophic. Yes, yes. Son of a bitch. I hate this fucking computer. I hate it. 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 Escape, escape, pause, pause, escape, pause, pause, escape, escape, pause, pause, escape, escape, pause, escape, tab, escape, tab, escape, do something, you piece of garbage. I fucking look great. Now we're stuck in a conversation. So much for celebrating, well, yes. So much for celebrating. Fucking ruin the moment. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? I'll do it. I'll start the purifier. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. Yeah, I know. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. What are you looking at? I'm looking at myself wearing Colonel Autumn's outfit. Not too bad, huh? Oh wait, Fox! You're immune to radiation, you do it! Something troubling you, my friend? Yeah, you're immune to radiation, go, you do it! No, I'm sorry, my companion, but, uh, no. We all have our own destinies, and yours culminates here. I would not rob you of that. Sure. Yeah. Let's go. And I shall follow. No, you won't. All right. Well, I think I'm going. Well, what does it do anyway? Oh, plus five to energy weapons, plus five spawn. That's nice. Anyway, putting that back on for the radiation resistance. If now, if we wanted to, the door is shut. No, I changed my mind. I changed, I, I, seriously, I changed my mind. Open the, oh, fuck. Open the 
goddamn door. You're still there. The purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. Uh huh. You can put the thingy in here, which is where if you want to spread the FEV vi the variation of the FEV virus, you can. And oh, hey, you've got a radiation suit. Give me. Oh, it's not a radiation suit. Well, fine then. All right. So remember that Bible passage from before. That's the code. It is. Where is it? Two one six. You know the one that Dad kept talking about. It's all important and stuff. Come on, you can do it now. Get closer. Two. Two. two one. Bye, everybody. Hey, come on. Get to the six, for God's sakes. Six. Enter. And guess what? You made the same sacrifice that your dad did. And I don't care if it overheats at this point. And so it was that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. This is so depressing. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. Yep, Lincoln has his head again. It was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example. What? So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer. It refused to follow the selfless example? The I put in the fucking code! And into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. And that's it. Such a weak ending. Well, I hear it's better when you have the DLC. But yep, everyone, thanks for watching. I doubt I'm going to be playing this game again for some time, and if I wasn't selling this computer to my, to, to, probably my brother, I don't know who else, I'd be ready to put an axe through it right now to play that it's been behaving. But, oh wait, are we going to overheat on the end credits? Let's! Just for the hell of it! Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. There were times when this was a lot of fun, and times when this was really painful. Like, oh, yep, yep, I think it's overheating. There it goes, it's overheating. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Um, stay tuned for Sheep Raider. It's going to be coming up next. Hopefully I can get that knocked out pretty quick. And um, after that, I will be getting my new machine. Just over a week away. And I will never have to use this piece of garbage again. So, thanks everybody for watching. And as always, I do hope that you will see me.